Hello guys, this is Shubhadeep. Welcome to my channel. So in this tutorial, we will learn about add columns function. How add columns function works. So here you can see this is our orders table. I am showing you the orders table. This is orders table. Okay. So and uh, here is another table called returns. This is returns. So there is some order ID and there is some return ID. So in my modeling, in my modeling here you can see uh, I have created a relationship between order ID and return ID. There, if there is hundred orders, maybe ten or twenty orders are being returned. So order ID and return ID will be same. Okay, and it will be many to many relationship. So uh, uh, here I want in the orders table I want another column. There is no, there is not another, uh, there is no other column which is showing the returned IDs and returned amounts. Here I want in the orders table a separate column which shows the return amount, the returned IDs and the return amount. Okay. If there is hundred columns, uh, hundred rows for in order orders table, uh, for the hundred rows, if there is hundred orders, and in hundred orders maybe twenty orders are being returned. I want that order IDs and the order amount. Okay. So how we can achieve it? I want to add columns. Okay. So I will use Add column function for this add columns returns a table. Okay, add columns returns a table. So for this, go to modeling and then new table. Okay, a new table will be appeared. Uh, I have given the name of add columns and in the add columns function, here uh, uh, where I want to give. Where I want to add columns in the orders table, I want to add columns. Then get uh, so I have written the orders table. Then what will be the name of the new column? The name of the new column will be returned amount. So I have written return amount. Then sumx distinct and calculate. So what is what here it is doing? So we all know sumx function goes row by row. Okay. So it is going row by row of returns table. Okay. In the returns table, it is going order ID. It is going through order IDs row by row. Okay. So if uh, it is getting some order IDs which is matching with which is matching with order table IDs. Okay. Uh, in the modeling, we have shown that returns order IDs and orders order IDs is same okay but if there is if in order IDs there are 100 of the order IDs okay yeah, but, uh, so in returns there will be 20 okay only the re re returned order ID so in the sum by the sumix function uh, of the uh, returns table it is going row by row Finding the IDs which are matching in orders table, which are matching in orders IDs. Okay, so if the if these IDs are matching, then it is calculating the sum of the sales of that order IDs. Okay, so what is happening? Uh, let me explain it again. So from the returns table, it is getting such the order IDs which are matching with returns table order IDs and if it gets the order IDs then it is calculating the sum of of the sales of that order IDs. So it is actually it is calculating the return table uh, which IDs are being returned and the sales of that IDs. Okay and then it is storing the data in the newly created columns 
in the newly created column okay so it is creating a table here you can see i am showing you the table here you can see a uh, newly created table is created and here the ids uh, which are being ordered uh, which are being returned and what is the sales of that ids how much money is being returned here it is shown here you can see uh, total rows here you can see total rows is 51290 rows in the bottom you can see 51290 total rows but the returned amount is coming from 2825 rows okay these 2825 rows the order ids that means order ids are being distinct order ids okay it is primary key it cannot be uh, repeated so 2825 uh, distinct rows means distinct order ids so from the 51290 order ids 2825 order ids are being returned of that 2825 order ids returned amount is this we have calculated in another column so here you can uh, how this is you can add another columns new columns and you can calculate value okay so i think this tutorial was helpful if you like my videos please like it share it among your among your friends please like my channel if you like my videos please like please like my channel please subscribe it please share it and support my channel thank you guys thank you